Metro bus hit and killed an elderly woman, and that incident caught on this surveillance video right there. So now the victim's family says they want accountability. They're suing both the transportation agency, Sorta, and the bus driver. The family says the 87-year-old's death was entirely preventable. WCPO 9 News reporter Valerie Lyons spoke with that family and their attorney this morning. Valerie, they say they don't want to see, they don't see this crash, I should say, as an accident. That's right, Tanya. Beverly Kinney's husband and her two sons say despite the driver's concerning track record behind the wheel, Sorta kept him there. A negligent decision that allowed reckless driving that's now killed a great grandmother and taken a beloved member of this community away. And she and I have had a very, very close and wonderful life for 18 years. And, um, and now she's gone. A mix of emotions for Ed Clossy, pain, sorrow, loneliness and suffering. And now five months later and anger. Clossy shared his grief publicly for the first time Monday. So did his stepsons, each fighting back tears as their attorney detailed the 10 page complaint. This is quite simply the most senseless and unnecessary death that I have been involved in in more than 35 years practicing law. On January 11th, retired school teacher Beverly Kinney was hit and killed by a Metro bus while she was in a marked crosswalk. Now, Kinney's family is suing the driver, Dion Willis, and public transportation agency Sorta. While finding fault with both, Kinney's family is placing most of the blame on Sorta. It is inconceivable why Sorta ever allowed this person behind the wheel of a 13 ton city bus. After the deadly crash, we requested and received Willis's personnel file. It showed an extensive history of driving violations, including previous crashes while working for Metro. On Monday, attorney Rex Elliott pointed to a 2018 crash. He says left a 24 year old man paralyzed after Willis ran a red light. I want to be able to forgive the driver. I'm not there yet. Um, I'm not sure I'll be able to forgive sort of management. Um, they, they were they enabled this guy to be out there uh, with a horrendous driving record and um, he and they killed my mom. Willis is scheduled to be tried by a Hamilton County judge next month. He's facing five counts of vehicular manslaughter, all misdemeanors, which the family tells me it felt like a kick in the gut. Isn't justice enough? She was killed in a completely preventable situation, a situation that should not have happened with a with a driver that shouldn't have been on the road and a company, an organization that let that driver be on the road. Now I have reached out to Sorta for a response to this lawsuit. I'm still waiting to hear back, but as for the driver, Dion Willis, he is out on bond awaiting his bench trial again, set to start next month. Now, when I spoke with his sister last month at his arraignment, she defended Willis saying his driving record does not make him a bad person and that he is haunted every day by what happened to Kinney. For now, live downtown Cincinnati, Valerie Lyons, WCPO 9 News.